Hey everybody, so if you want to know how to play any, and I mean literally any PC game on your phone, this is a tutorial for you. So, all you need is two apps. Very simple, no shady weird things from the internet. Just download two apps from the Google Play Store. You need GP Overlay and you need Parsec. GP Overlay and Parsec. So, let's go ahead and open up GP Overlay. So basically what this app does is it allows you to get a controller, a game pad for whatever game you want that's fully customizable, right? So in this instance, uh, I want to go ahead and play modded Minecraft with 125 mods in the RL modded mod pack for Minecraft on my phone. So I have a really basic um, keyboard to represent that. So when you first open up the app, it's not going to look quite like this. You're going to need to go into app configuration and click on enable overlay and settings. Let me move this. Um, and then turn on this switch right here. Right. And uh, I'm going to change the color. I'm not a big fan. Let's change the deep ocean and then change the opacity to about 75 so that, you know, it's a little bit more apparent. So now you want to create your gamepad. Now, what you need to do is look at the controls for whatever game you want to play. In my case, it's Minecraft, so you move around using WASD. So, as you can see on the side over here, around here, WASD. But how do you make a button? So, you simply click on more, and it creates a button for you. You can move it wherever you want, and then you click on edit key, and then you could change, put I, or uh, space, if you want to jump. Right, it's just whatever. I don't really need this though, so I'm gonna click less, less, get rid of the T. Right, so you do that for every button that you feel like you need. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna use, and you can change the size, of course, by clicking plus size. Right, to select. Now, when you're done creating your awesome gamepad for whatever game you need, click on save, and then create, and that should take you back to the home screen. And you need to click on GP overlay. And at the top, you should faintly see, I don't know if you can see exactly, you should see the logo, right? The gamepad logo. And I'm moving it around. And what this does is summons your gamepad. Now, go back into Parsec. And what you're going to need for Parsec, what you're going to need to do, is download Parsec on both your computer and your phone. So your computer needs to have Parsec and your phone needs to have Parsec. But it cannot be an Apple computer. It has to be a Windows computer, right? Um, and then you simply start up the game, whatever game you want to play. So if you want to play Minecraft, just have it on the screen and then put it in full screen. If you want to play GTA, if you want to play Portal 2, if you want to play um, really any PC game, you could do it here. And then simply click Connect. It's just literally that simple. I'm in. And now we activate the GP overlay by simply clicking, well, the, the floating thing, and boom. We're in. And we can look over here to the side. As you can see, I'm getting really good frames. Um, well, what is that? Whoa. But yeah, um, and really the only limitation to how well it looks is your computer. So if you have an awesome computer, it's going to look awesome for you. So um, let's see if we can go find a cool monster or something. And again, I'm playing this all on my phone, right? Uh, which wouldn't be able, wouldn't be possible to do otherwise. But let's just walk around. Maybe we could find a cool monster to kill, or uh, for me to get killed by. Whoa, look, an armored dude. Um, I forgot what you were called. A fairy. Some weird chunks aren't loading here, but that's normal. Hey, Aegis. Aegis. Cool. And now we can move back over here. Some run flesh. Let's pick that up. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Whoa, a fairy! Whoa, they live in these little houses. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, so these are the little, I guess, fairy houses. I didn't actually know what these were. But yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my inventory just so you can, sh so I can show you the content of this mod pack. All these items. 
22 pages full of items, right? And of course, if you want to access, if you want to touch on the screen, you're going to have to get rid of the gamepad for a second just so you can move around and touch stuff. And we can see what everything is. Wow, look at all this stuff. Anyway, if you want to get out of that, I'm just going to go ahead and click Escape. And it's just really that simple, and then you can just play. So, of course, you could play with your friends, servers, Hypixel, any, anything that you could do on your computer, you can now do it on your phone in the way you would normally do it, in the controller that seems natural. This is up to you now. And really, it's limited by simply just your computer. It's not really, like your phone has to be okay, but your computer really is a thing. So, if your computer can handle shaders with RTX and all that stuff, then your phone will be able to play it. So, yeah. Um, like and subscribe this video if you help if it helps you at all. Um, share it because of course you can play multiplayer stuff. You can be playing RL Craft with your friends on your phone at school or on the bus or wherever else you want to play with your friends. So yeah, share this with all your friends. Like and subscribe and you know, um, have fun. The sky is the limit. You can do literally anything.